Welcome back to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Hello, everybody. This is for the mid-April love check-in for Gemini. We're going to get right into it. It's mid-April 2019 love check-in for Gemini. We're going to do the Radiant Rider Weight, and we'll finish off with some Romance Angel Oracle cards. All right, guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful month so far. Um, this is my new channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. If any of the res readings resonate with you, please like and subscribe, share. If not, just throw it away. Check out my other channels. Um, <clears throat> I'll be putting, once I get like, after the first month, I think, I'm going to put a more, um, like, a set schedule up on my homepage. I'm still kind of feeling the waters out, but right now, I wasn't going to do dailies. I've decided to just stick with monthlies and mid-monthlies and a couple of other ones that I'll be coming out with shortly. So I've done the monthly love reading so far for all the signs, all the zodiac signs, and now we're going to be doing mid-monthlies. So those will be regular videos that you can come back and check out on my channel, monthly and mid-monthlies, all right? And tonight we'll have the night out readings. You can also go to my homepage to check that out. So we're doing Gemini. Gemini, mid-April, 2019, love reading, check-in for the middle of the month, what's going on for Gemini, Whoop. flyer, oh nice, nine of cups, that's a nice flyer, alright Gemini, show me what's going on for the middle of your month, whoa, Two more came out, flying out. <clears throat> All right, show me. Wow. Hmm. The bottom of the deck is the hero fan. All right, this talks about commitment. It can also mean rigidly adhering to ideas, beliefs, religious, cultural beliefs. All right, we're gonna check that out, we'll get to that. Let's check out the flyers first that came out for you guys, Gemini. Woof. These mid-monthly readings are supposed to be check-ins, not full readings, but these cards came out and I had to take them. The first flyer was <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, right? So you're about to complete to the Ten of Cups, which is like total happiness and gushing lotus blossoms into cups and cups. And Nine of Cups, look, look at all of those cups. He's got his cups up there. He's worked very hard for them. They're behind him. He's protecting them. He's like, all right, I'm ready. You know, this is a great, great, great card. It's completion, coming coming to completion. Okay. Nine is really completion, and ten is the, is the result of that completion, the joy of that, and the spark of the next level, right? So nine. Then also two more came out. That's the Ten of Wands and the Tower. The Ten of Wands is really like, oh, man, I don't know if I can do it anymore. I just don't know if I can keep going. You know, I just have had so much. You know, I've had to work so hard for my ideals, and now they're the only things holding me up, right? Can I keep going? But look, he's still walking. One foot is lifted. The heel is lifted, which means he has forward, forward momentum, right? He's not leaning on them. If you notice, not leaning on them as if they're planted in the ground. He's holding them in front of himself, right? But he's still walking. So he's taking what little energy he has left mustard, this character, and he's carrying forward. And the tower moment. We've got a tower moment coming up for you guys, Gemini. Major, major change happening. <clears throat> In the center, got the sun card. Sun, wow. Look at this. Trans full transformation, the result. The blessings of full transformation, what it looks like, and a victory. You got transformations and a victory coming after a long battle in love. You've done the work, and you've got a tower moment happening as well. Mm-hmm. Gemini's, you've been working. And you've been wishing. And your wishes are about to come true. Wow, Gemini. So I think this is a part of the month for you where <clears throat> the, 
the fruits of your labor are starting to come in. You know, the fruits of your labor are starting to come in. The fruits of your actions. The bottom of the deck, we have the hero fence. So that's commitment. All right? I'll put him over here. But, wow. You've been working on things, though, Gemini, right? You've been working on stuff. You've been working on your craft. You've been working on your job, your finances, making sure your surroundings are ready. You've been working on your shit. But right now, you're having a sun moment. You've come out of a period of a lot of struggle, right? Come out of a period of a lot of struggle. There's been times where you felt like you really couldn't do it. You really couldn't keep keep on going, right? But right now, you're about, I think the mid-month is going to be a beautiful time. This middle of April for you, right? So I consider the middle of April to be between the second week and third week of April, right? So the second and third weeks of April during that period right in the middle of the month. Um, you know, coming up to the 15th and then just past the 15th, right? You got wish fulfillment. You've been, tra you've been making some wishes. You've been trying to manifest them, right? You've been putting the work in, Gemini. And you have, and I feel like you're gonna get your moment. You got a victory moment coming up with the universe coming to you towards the second, uh, the third week of the month, right? Well, I call it the universe, the world, right? So in this deck, it's the world card. <clears throat> That's you. Just you're the world is your oyster, you know. The world card. It's like you're in tune with all of the elements, right? All of the elements, <clears throat> all of the major archetypes, you're dancing on air, if you will. You're in control. Not so much like the magician who's manifesting, but more like the world is simply your oyster. You, you don't need to manifest because whatever you want is already there. Right? Whereas the magician is manifesting, the world is the world is card is about. You there's these are major arcana. The world the world cup is a um, the world card. Excuse me, is a major card, right? A major arcana card. So he's really talking about like different than the magician energy, where he has everything at hand to manifest what he wants. The world card is like you're dancing on air. You're dancing on top of the world. You don't even need to manifest. The world has everything that you need in it. You only need to reach out and pluck it. It is literally there for your taking, right? You've come to such a point in your life, such a kind of like period in your karmic prog progression. And in this life progression and in this subsection of your life progression that right now you're having a world moment and that's feeling like you just can't go wrong. You feel great. You know, I feel like the world moment almost feel like, you know, those moments like when you're dancing or when you're doing something you really love to do, you know, you just feel like you're untouchable, like you could fly, you know, that's the world moment. And that's coming out of the sun and this victory. You got a really good t period of time coming up right now, Gemini, for April. Although this tower came out, and these two cards came out together. And the tower card is interesting because the tower card is definitely about major change, major transformation. Sometimes major transformation doesn't have to be big or bombastic. It can still be major transformation. What's going on with you, Gemini's, though? There's still a little something, isn't there? There's still a little something for you guys that's going on, you know? It, you know, and it's never like that. It's never all just the nine of cups or all just the world at your feet, you know, something else major is going on. There's something that's being toppled. There's some other karmic um, circle that's being closed here, Gemini, right? And it could be as much as just like something small that's just taking care of the remnants, but it's still a tower moment because it's part of a karmic, um, a karmic cycle, right? You're closing a karmic loop. You're finishing off some karmic debt. And so those are still, <clears throat> can be part of tower, those can still be tower moments, right? In amongst all of this other shine and sun that's already manifesting, you're still having these tower moments. You're still having these epiphanies, right, Gemini? These changes to 
what you what you just two seconds ago thought, oh, wow, it's like that. Oh, no, wait a minute. Damn, it's even more, right? And sometimes it's still a lot. It's more than you think you can take, but you can take it. Because ultimately you do have nine of cups. So as far as the love check-in for you, Geminis, this is a great period of the month for you, right? For your love. There's ha things happening with your love. It's part of your love. You know, now love can be relationships and also be your passions, right? When I do love readings, it doesn't always necessarily have to mean that it's another person. It can be something that you're really passionate about. But I do think that in this particular situation, Gemini, you know, there is love there. But this part of the month is not so much about your love life in as much as it is about you, right? The love is there. The love life is with it. It's you've done the work. It's there. Your your you know your love life is progressing along nicely. But it seems like in order for everything to progress along nicely, right now you're kind of dealing with this part of your life, which is more to do with you and your self realization and your growth. And right now you're having this great growth. You know this period of of work, blood, sweat, and tears. But this immediate kind of like celebration and victory that you're seeing as a return for all the blood sweat and tears that you're putting in and the sun is shining on you so it's as though you know the decisions you're making right now you know they're the, they all seem to be like the right decisions the sun is shining the go-to decisions you know and you feel like everything that you need right now is at hand but the work is still there it's still hard it still seems difficult right now, but trust me, um, Gemini, this is all for the better. This is all for like coming always to a higher and a higher, higher state of energy. And ultimately, under all of this is something that you wish for. And you can't get what you wish for without, without the work you put into it. All right? So let's clarify this with some angel, romance angel cards. And then we will be done with Gemini mid-month check-in. I'm trying to keep the mid-month video short, sweet, and to the point. So y'all can get on with your time watching some other videos, or some other channels, some other readers. Mid-month, this is just a check-in. I hope it resonates with some of you Geminis out there. If it doesn't, just throw it away. What we got for the Geminis mid-April 2019. Mid-April for Gemini's 2019. Show me. Playfulness. All right, now, at the bottom of the deck, new love. A new person that has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, that's interesting, right? Because like I said a minute ago, didn't I say a minute ago, I feel like this is really doesn't have much to do with love. I feel like your love life is already there. And satisfy it. And it can be. It is. It probably is Gemini. Right? It's not something that's re in your mind necessarily requiring immediate attention. Everybody's happy. Everybody's home's happy. You're happy. The wife, the husband, everybody's happy. Right? But then it's like this tower moment. Right? This is tower moment. It's like you're having all of this positivity. There's work. There's hard work. Sometimes there's days like you feel like you can't take it. There's work, but there's joy, there's sun, the world, there's wish fulfillment. Ultimately, there's the joy of a good hard day's work and the fruit of your labor. But there's still the tower, right? So, new love at the bottom. Could be some of you guys don't realize it, right? But you might be about to be sideswiped by somebody in terms of somebody might just come in and sweep your feet right out from underneath of you. You know, that can happen. You can be in a perfectly happy relationship, fairly happy life, things are going along, general kind of like strifes and troubles, but things are happening. You can be a period, especially right now, this is a period right now, Gemini, of things divinely being led for you to be where you need to be, to really be experiencing that full sum moment and having those victories, right? And every just, everything just feels like, oh, spring, sun, yes, here we go, Gemini. It's the time of Gemini, it's the month of June. My daughter is a Gemini, so I understand that. Wish fulfillment, but you still, bam, tower moment. And it could be, that can absolutely happen. And you can walk out your house one day and you see somebody and they knock you right on your feet, off your feet, <laughs> and on the ground. You know, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> 
I don't need this right now. I'm happy. I'm okay. I don't need this right now. But, you know, sometimes you run into stuff and you don't know why. Right? And it could be, that's why the hair fence showing up as well. Oh, we got three of cups. Could be third party energy coming in. Um, hair fence talks about, you know, commitment, adhering to your ideals, adhering to your religious beliefs, your cultural beliefs, all right? Pay attention to that. Pay attention to where you are. And remember to be playful. That's the top card. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. Playfulness, 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 right? Playfulness. All right? This is a great period of time for you, Geminis, but something's coming up. Pay attention. Pay attention to your love life. Don't assume that it's nine of cups. Something's there. Something's stern. Something requires your attention. Something's going to be coming your way. That's going to be so unexpected. And sometimes that's the times when it's really unexpected, when everything's going great. You know, where everything is going wonderful as we see it, right? And then here it comes. So remain playful, Gemini. All right? You got a great month coming ahead. The sun is shining on you. You got some victories coming for you. You got some wish fulfillment, some of the things you've always wanted to accomplish. You're going to accomplish. You're going to start to see the fruits of your labor. All right? But beware. You got the tower coming to so keep your eyes and your ears open. All right? Thank you, everybody, for coming to my channel for the mid-April reading for Gemini. This is Bo and Arrow Tara. I'll be up later on tonight at midnight Friday for the Night Owl sessions um, to check in with all you night owls, and otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye.